viewers of Biotechnica, welcome back again to another video. So today in this video, I'll be talking about one of the important national level examination. Suppose if you are in your MSc and you're wondering what examinations to take for. So you might be knowing about CSAR net examinations, ICMR examination, gate examination, DBT and many many examinations. So today in this video, I'll be talking about what are the 10 reasons that you can target this ICMR JRF examination if you are are going to be an MSc fresher. So let's talk about the complete topic in detail. Hey everyone, this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So let's talk about the complete detail of ICMR JRF examinations. So before going in for the complete detail, I would like you to take you to the overview of what is this ICMR examination is going to be and then I'll be talking about what are the reasons that you can target this ICMR JRF examination. So first let me take you to the complete details of this ICMR JRF examination. So we know ICMR is going to be Indian Council of Medical Research and Junior Research Fellowship. So ICMR is going to help the researchers, the budding researchers who would like to enter into medical research projects. So the eligibility to apply for this examination is you need to be a postgraduate degree holder in any of the basic sciences like uh, life sciences it can be like microbiology biochemistry biotechnology msc in any of these things suppose if you are in the first year then you can apply under the result awaited candidate or if you are going to be a candidate who is going to be doing engineering if you are in btech final year uh, biomedical engineering then you are also allowed to apply for this examination and the examination is definitely going to be an online mode of examination and the duration of the examination is going to be two hours which is 120 minutes which we can say usually you can find a lot of examination is going to be three hours but you have two hours that's also another advantage and this is also going to be a multiple choice questions and I'll be talking about how many questions you're going to have. So totally you'll be having 150 questions. So 50 questions you will have from the aptitude section and 100 questions you will have it from the section B for life science candidate and section C for social science candidate. If you're going to be a life science candidate, you'll have part A and part B or section A or section B. Section A is going to be aptitude and section B for life sciences. And out of 120, 150 questions, you have to answer 120. 25 question I'll be telling about it and for every correct answer you're gonna get one mark and every wrong answer there is a negative marking which is 0.25 marks negative and the most important question is what's going to be the age limit so the age limit to apply for this examination is only till 28 years but if you're belonging to SC, ST, PWD or female candidates then you have a relaxation of five years which means approximately till 33 years you can apply and if you're belonging to obc ncl then you can apply till 31 years which is three years relaxation the next comes the section as i already told you so i'm talking for life science candidates so part a is definitely going to be an aptitude section 50 question and all the 50 questions are going to be compulsory questions so you have to attempt 50 questions in case of part b for life science candidate 100 questions will be given and you can choose 75 questions so totally there's going to be 150 questions and you have to select 50 plus 75 questions so 125 questions you'll be attempting so this is all about the overview of icmr jrf examination if you're new to know about this icmr jrf examination now i'm going to talk about the most important reasons that you can target this examination the first important reason i'm going to highlight on the point is if anybody who are watching of this video are looking for a medical research project then you can definitely go for icmr jrf examination because ICMR itself says like usually they have a medical project, medical biomedical research project. So if you want to enter into medical field researches, then definitely you can take up ICMR JRF examination. If you want to study about a disease or what's the causative agent and how it's spread or what's the epidemiology. If you want to learn about it, then you can take up ICMR JRF. ICMR JRF, if you have cleared this examination, you can go and avail the fellowship only after taking ICMR funded projects. You cannot take randomly a DBT project or CSIR project or you cannot take any other project. You have to specifically take only ICMR funded projects. It can be from anywhere we'll be talking about. So this is the most important advantage of ICMR JRF if you want to enter into any of the medical fields. They are very concisely for medical fields 
medical research so if you are interested to do medical research then definitely you can go for this one the second reason is it's very specific for jrf so they wanted the young body uh, researchers to come and join under icmr so they're definitely going to fund you so they target specially for all the young researchers in biomedical projects so it is only for research purpose you'll be entering as a junior research fellow so that's one of the advantage you can go for icmr jrf the next important thing is where you can take this icmr project next question comes to us is if anybody in your college is going to have a professor is going to have icmr fundings then you can work under the person you'll be getting icmr uh, fellowship which will be given by them or you can take icmr funded project in any of the university you'll be getting the same fellowship or you can take icmr research institute i'll also be talking about what are the icmr research institutes that are available in india where you can go and apply either for a icmr project or directly go into a icmr research institute and work over there so from this you can enter into any of the colleges or university or research institute but very specially it has to be icmr funded projects only okay the next important benefit is monetary benefits yes if you want any kind of fellowship we literally wanted to go for uh, some stipendship or fellowship of course they are also going to provide you uh, with a fellowship initially you'll be joining as a jrf of course the exam itself is going to be icmr jrf for two years you're going to work as a jrf suppose if you are not able to complete the work within 2 years of time and if your work is not satisfactory then you will be continuing as a jrf but usually jrf will be for 2 years with every month i'm talking about every month you'll be getting rupees 31000 along with a house rent allowances if you're staying in a hostel they're going to provide you that and after that you'll be upgraded to srf you will be having almost 3 years usually and rupees 35000 per month plus your hra every month you're going to get and the next comes annual contingency yes this fellowship is definitely going to be helpful for you when you're going to start as a researcher either as a uh, jrf also so what are the annual contingency so i i have told you that this is going to be a funding opportunity for you so annual contingency is for one year so for one year you'll be getting 20000 apart from your every month salary either as a jrf or srf what's the purpose of this one you can acquire books or documents or whatever you want to purchase related to the research project that you're doing or if you want to go in for any kind of meetings train fare distance allowances that can also be taken care of within this 20000 for one year and any sm- sort of small petty expenditure you have like if you want to purchase extra chemicals or reagents or any stationary items or if you want to attend any kind of uh, scientific conferences you have to pay the registration fees then this 20000 per year can be used for these purposes so the fourth import third important thing we have seen icmr project where you can take and the first important thing is what is going to be the stipendship so you have a lot of opportunity the next comes of course you can start pursuing your phd through icmr jrf examination so you can pursue phd in medical funded project as i already told you and this is another important thing suppose if anybody is going to ask me a question i've just joined as a jrf but you have not registered for phd then after that you will be promoted as srf until you are going to be registered as a phd so make sure when you're joining as a jrf if you are enrolled in a phd then you will be continuing as a phd holder if not you will be working for a jrf and then you can go for a srf so you will not get the degree so jrf are permitted to commit complete their phd when you're going to join any of the icmr libraries or colleges or university if you're going to register for phd then you can actually finish off your phd while working in the project if enrolled so some people will do only jrf and they'll just uh, earn, uh, earn experience and they just move on if you want to avail phd then you have to enroll in a phd program even as a working as a jrf so this is the uh, fifth advantage that you're going to get if you're going to work or take up this icmr jrf examination next important thing is is there any career growth and promotion going to take place if i'm going to write this examination of course as i already mentioned jrf is going to be for 2 years so srf after 2 years gaining experience you can start as a senior research fellow and this JRF to uh, SRF upgradation will be based on the committee members who are going to decide and then only you'll be promoted as a SRF and definitely you're going to get rupees 30000 plus HRA and if you're going to have a medical research 
pro profits or benefits of working in any of the medical research project we know uh, nowadays the medical research is literally growing vastly so wherever in any corner of the world if you're going to work as a researcher in medical field definitely there's going to be a wonderful career growth and you can also be promoted in a company or you can be promoted in a research institute also this is about india but using the knowledge that you obtain during your icmr jrf examination and jrf and srf as well as as a phd you can go and work in most of the medical research field so that's all all about the career growth and promotion which is our sixth point the next one perks and additional benefit yes they're going to provide you like a salary they're going to give you um, annual contingency for you but anything else do they provide apart from hra and all this thing they're going to provide you some travel uh, benefits also as i already mentioned if you want to go for conferences they're going to provide you travel allowances and leave benefits also you have like casual leaves and maternity leave if you're going to be uh, a female candidate you will have the leave benefits also medical benefit is literally based on the uh, research institute or the colleges or university that you're going to work under if the university or the institute is going to provide then you can also get that as i already mentioned you're going to have a hra benefit also where your hostel accommodation is provided until you are not taking any accommodation outside so this is all about the perks and additional benefit you're going to get as a icmr jrf fellow and i'm going to talk about when we compare it with most of the examinations like gate examinations or csar examination icmr examination is considered easier comparatively with all other examination instead of running in a race where there is very difficult to go you can go to a platform where it is easy to enter so if you really wanted medical science research also it is easier comparatively of course many started applying for it there would be a competition but the examination is definitely going to be easier for you and part a as i already mentioned 50 questions you will see and in part b life sciences you're going to have 100 questions you will select only 75 questions so you have statistics general knowledge scientific phenomenon in statistics you're going to have data analysis and interpretation probability experiments and sampling linear regressions and correlation hypothesis test and all you're going to see in statistics and about general knowledge you can see measurements synthetic material nuclear science you're going to have questions on this and scientific phenomenon you can have questions based on greenhouse effect tornado or you have questions on hurricanes earthquake volcano all the sort of questions you'll get in your aptitude part b as if we have known this is the most important thing i would like to highlight for people who want to write icmr jrf one reason i'm telling you is whatever feel you might be from microbiology or you might be from uh, plant physiology or you might have studied animal or you might have studied genetics so whatever it is you have your own specializations here so which means whatever you studied in your college you can study the same for this examination which is going to be very easier and very easy to clear so you can see microbiology physiology molecular biology questions you can see genetic questions human biology biotechnology biochemistry bioinformatics immunology pharmacology biophysics nursing even nursing zoology botany environmental science excluding agriculture extension and soil sciences which means whichever field you're going to belong to you're going to have questions in icmr so you can literally take up this fellowship if you want to write icmr jrf and I, as i already told you the questions are going to be easier than most of the examination i'm just going to show you one example here so this is an uh, question from 2019 which of the following enzyme participates in both the citric acid cycle and etc which is a very simple question whichever uh, major you are from you know this question definitely it's going to be succinate dehydrogenase this is the only enzyme which is present in the inner membrane of mitochondria which acts for citric acid cycle also also for etc also so the answer is a direct question if you know it you're definitely going to answer it which of the following molecule yields maximum number of atp upon oxidation yes when there's going to be oxidation you're going to break a bond and you're going to release energy and you're going to get atp molecule which molecule is definitely going to give lot of atp definitely it's going to be palmitate because this is going to be a saturated fatty acid so 
you have a direct question so questions are going to be kind of very simple when you compare it with the most of the questions so easily comparatively we can say with most of the examination so you can go for it and i'm going to list out all the icmr institute if you would like to go for medical research you need to know about what are the icmr institutes that are available in our country which is very prestigious so icmr nari you can go for this is very specially for aids research and you can go for virology research niv and you can go for vector control research center in pondicherry and rajendra memorial research institute of medical sciences and you have cancer prevention and research center and you have of course niih which is immunohematology you have and then you have reproductive health in mumbai very specifically in mumbai you have if you would like to enter into a medical research very specially for reproductive health then you can go for it if you go and look into the website there are multiple projects which are based on reproductive health are also available if you want to know about cholera enteric diseases then you can go for nicd and then uh, tribal health research is also available and then there's going to be uh, animal research facility for biomedical research is in hyderabad and you have new nutrition and then you have pathology medical statistics research malaria research in delhi is available and if you want to know about the spread or epidemiology of any diseases you can go for nie in chennai and this is for disease informatics and research you can go for it and if you want to know about tuberculosis very specifically you can go to their website and look for uh, tuberculosis research and if you want to go for environmental research or traditional med medicines or occupational health or leprosy if you want to learn about uh, leprosy and mycobacterial diseases then you can go for all these institutes so these are some of the institutes which are very specialized for medical research you don't have to wander around for other research institute which has different project which is not medical research which will be different different areas if you want to go for medical research then definitely you can go for icmr and the most important thing is whenever you're going to write any examinations like icmr or jrf it's definitely going to gleam onto your resume of course you have written some examination which makes you stand out of the crowd so we've been talking about the icmr jrf the 10 reasons to target this examination if you're going to be a msc fresher so i've been talking about why you have to take up this icmr jrf fellowship so medical fellowship even though we have 150 fellowship out of that 120 for life sciences so if you really wanted to go for medical research then definitely you can go for this fellowship and it's very specifically for only jrf for researchers only and there are a lot of icmr projects not only in icmr institute only there are people who have lot of icmr projects in colleges university research centers and you're going to get a monetary benefit also you can also start working as a phd and definitely there's going to be a career growth either through the experience that you got through icmr uh, jrf positions or srf positions and there is also some additional benefits and it's kind of easier examination when you compare it with most of the examination and a lot of icmr institutes we have seen which provides medical projects and definitely it's going to gleam onto your resume i believe that this video is helpful for all of you who are watching out this video if you really like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel biotechnica so i'm going to meet you back again thank you all of you